Hi, this is Phil Chandler. I'm at one of my apiaries and as you can probably hear and see, um, there's a swarm in the air and I'm not entirely sure where they've come from. They must have come from one of these hives. Um, it's certainly not obvious which one at the moment. But there's a good number of bees in the air here and they seem to have chosen to move into one of my sort of quadratic towers here. As you can see, the left hand one has is occupied um, and has been for um, some time. The right hand one, uh, the colony pegged out sometime last year and towards the end of last year, I think it was. And this swarm from wherever it's come from has chosen this particular yeah. hive by the look of it to move into so I happen to have my camera handy so we might as well film it I'm trying to I'm looking around just to see where they might have come from but it's certainly not clear right now so this is the second time in one day that a swarm has moved out of one hive into another in the same apiary a different apiary the first one um, but nevertheless so it does show again that if you have empty hives near your occupied ones there's a good chance that a swarm might just uh, move out of one and into the other if i point the, hi the, the camera over here you can see a lot of bees in the air And they're taking no notice of me. In fact, a few of them are landing on me, but they're taking no real notice of me standing here. They're, they're going about their business exactly as they please. It's interesting that they've chosen this hive to move into. There are several other empties in the apiary, including a polynuke, a couple of polynukes actually, and an empty um, Dadent hive and a Langstroth hive actually but they've chosen this one to move into, which is, uh, which shows that, well, I suppose you could say that um, it feels just right to them. They've obviously scouted out the, the other possibilities and this is the one they've decided to move into, so. Their reasons are their own. So there are six boxes in this little tower and that should give them enough room for their first season. The one next door here is already occupied. There's going to be a few strays that will find their way into this one, no doubt. So, but that'll just boost the population of this colony, so that'll be fine. I put an entrance in each of these boxes because when the colony is uh, building up, they, they do seem to like to, to use several entrances at once.
quite a lot of them have gone down the gap between the two hives but uh, hopefully they'll find their way into the correct place sooner or later. There's a lot of bees fanning around the entrances so I'm pretty sure that uh, the bulk of them are inside and the queen's with them. <laughs> 